what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about scream 7 in this video here today so we know that a few days ago it was announced that kevin williamson would be directing scream 7 and that nev campbell will be returning as sydney prescott in the upcoming seventh entry in the iconic franchise and she put out this wonderful post on social media talking about how she is excited talk kevin reposted it talking about his excitement and how he never thought he'd be in this position yada 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 now here we are a few days after that daniel rpk who if you know you know has been very reliable a scooper in the past has stated that not only is patrick dempsey in talks to return as detective mark kincaid sydney's husband but courtney cox is 100 percent a lock to return as gail weathers in the upcoming film if you recall previously i've stated that i had heard that courtney cox would be down to return this was from a more recent exchange she had, and it was communicated to me that she is 100% down to return. Now, Daniel is reporting that she is locked, meaning I would assume she has signed something, or if she hasn't already signed, she is about to sign. So, Gail Weathers will return for the seventh entry in the Scream franchise, outpasting all of the appearances of anyone in the trio, because she's appeared in all of them at this point, whereas Sydney missed that one film. Dewey, of course, has appeared in five if you don't count the images that appear in six whatever but that is where we are right now as it stands with scream seven and the cast patrick dempsey's and talks to return nev and courtney are the ones that are locked now i'm going to get into some rumors one i've heard that patrick dempsey's return is becoming a bit of a well i don't want to say it's becoming a problem but i'm hearing rumblings that the man wants a certain amount of money and you know how spyglass is i i think that's really all i should say it's i'm hearing stuff about money <laughs> but is that really shocking look at what spyglass did with nev look at what spyglass did with the jenna situation which in some regard i can understand i can understand it in some regard but it's always something about spyglass and money i feel like we keep hearing about and it's a bit funny considering that he just did thanksgiving with them so maybe he's just asking for too much and without knowing what the specific amount is, I can't really say I agree that it's too much, but I wouldn't be shocked if maybe he's asking for something that's on par with what Nev is getting. And then it would become quite sticky if, let's say, they were to somehow pay him more than what Nev is getting. That's just only going to prove Nev right with her claims that if she were a man, she wouldn't have been treated like that. So I hope they don't end up paying Patrick more. I hope Patrick can just somehow come to an agreement with them if they are wanting to get him back and he can just return under good terms without a pay dispute like what we saw in the past with Nev Campbell. And again, like I mentioned, if they somehow pay him more, that could create a conflict with Nev. But I'm hearing rumblings about there being some issues with Patrick's pay. That's creating some type of hurdle with his return. Ultimately, I think he's going to be back. They'll come up with something. They'll get him back because viewer, not viewer, not, but beyond the mask, I saw your video yesterday where he seems to be somebody who is very important for Sydney's story. The importance of his character, I hope, is not connected to him being an opening kill. I really don't. I mean, not that it wouldn't be an effective usage for Sydney to have purpose in the story, but it's like, God, dog, we haven't seen you since Scream 3, and the first thing we see from you when you come back is you die right away i'm not against the character dying but can we at least get 30 minutes with you or so can we get 50 minutes can we get something why do you have to die right away we'll just have to wait and see what they cook up creatively uh i'm hearing that the script is almost ready it's not ready yet i've also heard that filming should start sometime after may possibly in may i've heard sometime in may and sometime after may we'll see which one ends up being true out of out of those two i will stress this if there is somehow an inevitable hiccup that comes along the way that obviously could push out into some later months like the fall like nev campbell apparently told sean sean clark she thinks that's when filming could begin in the fall nev campbell wasn't saying that's when it would begin she was just making a guess but i keep hearing that it's going to be sometime in the summer i've heard sometime after may i've heard sometime during may we'll just have to wait and see but again i think in may that would still be spring so june would be the summer the start of the summer i think i've also heard that a star from the recent halloween trilogy from blumhouse is in talks to appear in the film i've also heard that someone from cocaine bear is in talks to appear in the film yes i know who those names are i'm going to wait to get more evidence about these names before i start sharing those names but someone from halloween the tri the recent blumhouse halloween trilogy and someone from cocaine bear are apparently in talks to appear in scream 7. but 
what would you do with Gale Weathers now in Scream 7? I've touched on this in the past about what you could do with Gale Weathers. Kevin Williams has stated once in the past how he would have explored the relationship between Gale and Dewey in his version of Scream 6. Dewey's gone, so we're not going to do that. But if we're still going to somehow make Gale significant, I would like to see a little bit more of that line, that jab that Tara threw at her in the events of Scream 6, where she's like, maybe without Ghostface, or maybe you're fearful that if without, without Ghostface, you're going to fade away. Let's see something in the vein of Gail finally having all of this exploitation pushed back onto her and seeing that conflict, that mental conflict that had that she's going through during the events of Scream 7. We can do something like that where the killers are taking aim at Gail Weathers because of the fact that they do not like her exploitation over the years. They don't appreciate her. That's a creative angle I could see you taking with Gail Weathers where she's having this battle in her head over guilt of what she's done in the past i mean there's signs of it there's signs of it already in screen five when they're driving to Stu's house why not flesh it out even further in screen seven that's not the only thing you can do with gail obviously i've touched on the fact that you could do a mickey cult idea or a mickey cult angle where the people involved with the cult of mickey are going after gail and sydney because they're the two people who took out mickey all those years ago that's an idea there's obviously stuff you could do with Gail still. I would say Gail has a lot more in the tank compared to a character like Sydney, considering how much more simplistic Gail Weathers is as a news reporter and someone who is reporting on true crime and always in the midst of it all. And she does definitely profit and exploit Ghostface tragedies. There's a lot more you could do with Gail, I would say, than with Sydney. That's just me. I'm not against seeing these two characters get back together, have some sort of reunion. Not against that tag team. I'm not against it at all. My thing, all, again, is going to come down to just execution, usage. Are we really just bringing these characters back just to save face? It's all going to come down to how the quality of Scream 7 is. If Scream 7 comes off very poorly, that's just going to be more of a bit of evidence to me that all this was was some large damage control and if the movie tanks it's going to be a reflection of that and when i say tank i'm not talking about financially i'm talking about creatively i hope that the movie isn't trash i would have loved to again have seen what that dual story would have been with sam and sydney we're not going to get it we're going to get whatever it is they're cooking up but you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below are you excited for gail weathers to return what would you like to see for gail weathers back what do you want to see for Mark Kincaid if he comes back? Do you want to see Mark as the opening kill? Do you want to see Mark part of the reason why Ghostface is back? Do you want Mark to be Ghostface? There's so many different things, obviously, you can do with Mark, too. I just think that they should walk a fine line with a character like Mark, considering he's at the center of what is essentially peace right now for Sidney Prescott. I don't want so much to go bad that it just puts a damper on the piece that she's earned that's all let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video